greeting everyone today i'm with uh, an interesting video where you can find the ndvi ndsi you know indices um, you can do a lot of work without downloading an image uh, there are a lot of data sets over here so it's a sentinel hub the description will be, uh, give uh, and the link will be given in the description so what you have to go, do is you can go for the rest of these options but i will like, take you to uh, the my first one is the uh, ear browser and in this ear browser uh, we will have a lot of data sets such as and um, you know now you have to just uh, you can go through this all these and uh, read all of this and uh, if you are interested and uh, if you have confusion about this website so i will just go and start exploring so uh, so you can see uh, we have the data search such as sentinel sentinel hub lancet and all the series of sentinel models probe and also we have gives so here you can see the sentinel series lancet and if you click on the lancet you have the lancet 5 7 8 and so on and you have the modis you have pro 5 one day and five and you have gibbs in the gibbs you have a lot of uh, rest of the sensors such as modis terra aqua VIRS, Calypso, and Astro GDM you have also in the Gibbs. So let's start to visualize our area of interest. So let's say I'm going for a Pakistan. Pakistan. Which is my country as well and it's my area of interest. So what I have to do is actually Let's zoom out a little bit and just click on the Sentinel 2 because Sentinel 2 is uh, and the Sentinel 1 is a red eye data actually and Sentinel 2 is uh, uh, where we have uh, uh, used for crop monitoring, land use, land cover, and so on. This I'm gonna do this is 50% cloud cover, less than 50%, and go for the search. So it will take time is uh, totally depend on the internet uh, if you have a good internet speed you will have the good uh, results so uh, and faster results so here uh, you can see my true color mail and start to display so you can see the true color measure of uh, the lens of my area of interest so here the clouds you can see uh, and uh, let's uh, visualize in NDVI so we can see how it's actually look like when you are using NDVI one thing you remember uh, should remember that Sentinel has five days result, uh, result so you can see the vegetation over here in NDVI and you can s uh, clearly see these areas uh, with the high NDVI value and these are with the lower we can see the also the moisture ca in the content over here in this area and the more you have the NDVI value that means there will be a moisture content too so if the moisture content is higher than this means the NDVI is higher on their area so you can see these uh, and these are the clouds so in these clouds you can see the moisture content and these are also the clouds you can see and this area is actually uh, the missing area that uh, the, the satellite didn't take this area the picture so you can go uh, you can uh, go for you know uh, other days so that you can see it might be there is a uh, in which days there here will be an image you can go for the next day you can see and uh, and we have uh, uh, in which day this area has an image 
So let's kill Frenzer dead. And we'll probably we have a image over here in this dead so that we can visualize this area. Okay, yeah, you can see that you have uh, here moisture content is very high because this area is uh, if you can see here is a, a river channel going through and this is also the Indus well uh, in this valley here is uh, a river Indus goes through and we can see the NDVI is a little bit higher in this area because the Indus moves just in this area run through this area yeah you can see the vegetation index so now we will go for the other uh, data search such as uh, let's go again back to the search and go to the um, what is NDVI values or you can go uh, with any any of these so let's say I'm going with uh, this one uh, methane or th these areas so let's search for the methane in this area and let's say I'm gonna get a little bit of zoom out so that uh, for the NDVI and NDSI, NDSI you have to zoom out and zoom in uh, so the more you, you will be in uh, zoom in and then the more clear you will have the images because uh, on a too much zoom out you can yeah, you can see the higher values over here and the lower values over here so uh, and nowadays the pandemic situations make these areas you know the low use of the uh, methane gas like uh, fuel so let's go for 2019 so you can see there will be higher pitches in the Middle East because of you can clearly see uh, the methane gas over here and the red pitches the more higher you, uh, le level of uh, methane gas and in these areas it's a bit low and this is totally fine and clear with the methane gas uh, it's 2019 image and if we go to 2020 uh, you have seen that uh, there was a very less in the April, uh, April. in these areas the methane gas and methane level was so low because the pandemic situation has uh, 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 decreased the methane gas or in these areas so you can play with this uh, EA browser sentinel hub there with these all the data sets because this very interesting one and the uh, one important thing I forget to tell you let's uh, do with the modis and then we'll tell you what to do so let's uh, go for the modis and uh, we will search for the images and uh, I will show uh, I will tell you how to do download uh, modis and uh, these are uh, all data set images and uh, Let's go for the NDVI for this mod is our, our area of interest. So you can you have to zoom in so that you you can get the image properly of your area of interest. As you know, the mod is uh, has temporal resolution of one day, so you can get every day image of your area of interest. Um, but the sentinel has five days period and the uh, lens has 16 days temporal resolution so you can see the NDVI and the uh, image of Moody's and you can go for normal uh, normalized different water index and you can also have a these images and let's go again with the NDVI and download your area of interest so let's zoom out a little bit and see around what happening I like the Sentinel because Sentinel has a lot of products uh, such as uh, in this you know like uh, moisturize index NDVI NDSI and so on so you can see these areas have high and if you have values these areas and this is low because this uh, river channel runs through these areas so that's why these and if you value is higher and you can see also here here is higher because in these areas most rainfall uh, to, uh, water 
share it. Uh, you have the water most level level in these areas. That's why these are have uh, higher in the web value. So you know, you know how to download these images there and there are three Uh, 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 you can download in three uh, type. You know, you can just in a JPEG form. You can just don't click on. You're gonna download in the JPEG form in a J just a picture, or you want a, in a higher resolution or better, or you can you want to analyze or you can do analysis on your work. So you have to go to analytical where you must uh, first of all you if for uh, to download in the uh, tip file format or for other formats you want to work you need to log in first of all you have to log into this account and then uh, this is the simple one year yeah, this is not a more uh, interviews you have to sign up and you can easily sign up to this sentinel hub and you will have the account and just now what i have to do is just click on this uh, this downloading one and i'm gonna go for the analytical analytical and uh, what i want either tiff can see whatever i want i can download it just say and then this one and i would uh, which visualization you need NDVI, NDSI, you can select that one. Let's say I, I need the NDVI value, just then I'm gonna click on the download button and it will be start to download. You can see this just download in the TIFF file, and this was the in the JPEG file where I have the higher values and the lowest values you can see here. So uh, this is a very interesting website, guys, from the Sentinel Hub. You can use for your uh, research work so you don't need to first go for the sentinel and download the images and go for the analysis even you can go through this uh, website you go through this website and see either you have the images in that day or not or is there's a cloud cover what type of you have the areas what type of situation you can you uh, you can see online directly without downloading any single image. So that's a very interesting one, man. And guys, you can go for it. I will prefer you know before going to the downloading the image and analyzing your computer. So doing a lot of work, making the bands and combinations. So from from that, you need to go for the website there you have the final you will you, you see that you can have the final product without any mechanic uh, without making any combination or such things you just have the final program then go to your import to your import it to your desire software such as RJS, QJS and so on and work on it thank you all Thank you guys, that's all. Hope it could work for you. Uh, research work and in your daily life.